It's a beautiful spring day and we're here to talk solo canoes with you. Let's show you this big assortment, folks. So we've got some beauties over here and we've got a new boat called the Flash Fire to complement our popular wildfire we're going to go over with you. And then look over here, guys, this beautiful rack of solos. We've got a brand new Prospector 13 to again complement our Prospector 14. An absolutely beautiful boat. Then we also have our Kiwaden 16 set up as a solo. And then the Cruiser 16.8 and 15.8, which have the sit down seating system in them. We have a separate video for these boats called Performance Solo Canoes. So let's get into it. We have a legendary designer, David Yost, who is by far my favorite designer in the industry for recreational touring, tripping type boats. DY came to us a couple years ago with the idea of the Prospector 14. Normally we come to him with ideas, but he said, Bill, let's build this boat. And I was a little bit skeptical at first. We now sell more Prospector 14s than all the rest of our solo boats combined. So this year, DY has us doing a new boat. To complement the Prospector 14, we've got this beautiful Prospector 13. They're both symmetrical canoes. Both ends have the same shape. And let me go over this with you folks. This is a Prospector 13 in our carbon fusion laminate with the granite finish. The black internal skid plates are standard. This beauty has the black carbon Kevlar trim as standard. This one has the optional sassafras in interior. It's a little bit lighter than the cherry and you can see it has a little bit different grain to it. This baby has a sassafras detachable yoke. Now, when we do the sassafras interior, the seat is still cherry. And you can see this seat is a single mount pods. We're also going to have a multi-height pod version of this beautiful boat available. So this is absolutely gorgeous. The black carbon Kevlar trim, the granite finish. And Joe, let's show the folks here. Very rounded in the chine area. The bubbles carried way up the side for lots of reserve, final stability. And then there's a nice tuck in close to the gunnel so folks can paddle in a normal paddling position without having to reach way over. Now here's another beautiful Prospector 14. This is in our Kevlar Fusion finish. This is ruby and you can see it's got an extra ruby layer of the polyester cloth as an internal skid plate so they're really beefed up in the ends. This has our beautiful black end caps with a black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. The folks at our factory are so good at the fit and finish of the boats. We get complimented all the time. The finish is so soft, it's so caressable. There's a very nice outer lip on the outside of the carbon Kevlar trim, which deflects splash and spray off to the side of the boat. This baby has the nice cherry interior, cherry detachable yoke, which looks great with a Kevlar fusion finish, the nice bench seat. Note how wide we make the seats. It allows people to really move over to the side of the boat. Lots of people buy our boats specifically because of the comfort of the seating system. They're very wide in the back of them. We angle the front bar forward so you can, it's comfortable to sit and if you're kneeling at all, this doesn't dig into the back of your legs. We've got a really cool ribbing system where the rib is connected right to the core and it butts up tightly to the gunnels, to the core and the gunnel. It makes it where it's got incredible structural rigidity. These boats are so structurally sound. The Prospector 13. Let's show you this beautiful boat with a couple of folks in it. So what do you think, folks? This beautiful Prospector 13 with two paddlers, two dogs. Diane is about 5'1", 120 pounds, and she fits nicely. 
comfortable than Neil or Sid, and Charlie loves taking the ball with him when he goes paddling. Brandon, 5'9", about 180. Yeah. And we've got Ollie with us today. So folks, this is going to be a great boat for people to paddle in the traditional manner with a straight shaft panel. It's going to be very lively. The stern has about the same amount of rocker as the bow does. Very playful. Folks are going to absolutely love this boat. Cheers to the Prospector 13. Cheers to Charlie and cheers to Ollie. There you go. Here is a great size comparison. The Prospector 13 is two inches narrower than the 14, a little bit more shallow, a little bit less volume. They both have beautiful waterline shapes. The widest point on these boats, the waterline is actually really narrow. They're much fuller looking. Most of the volume is above the waterline. They paddle beautifully. Mid-size to larger paddlers looking for a tripping boat and to perhaps take a dog, love the 14. Average size to smaller people with a well-behaved dog, love taking the Prospector 13. So cheers to the two of these. The Prospector 14 is our super cab pickup truck, do everything solo canoe. We're gonna show you Scott in it in a few moments. So let's go over the feature of this, the, this boat. So first of all, Joe, let's just show the shape. It's got a nice shallow arch bottom very rounded in the chine area. It's actually very sleek along, along the waterline. It really cuts the water nicely. And then let's talk about this particular boat. This boat, folks, is absolutely gorgeous. This is one of our new specialty finish, the blue forge carbon with epoxy resin. And look at the sun, folks, how this looks. The forge carbon has a super, super cool finish to it. Matt Steffler, our head engineer, is, does the first layer on all these boats, and he's got a great way of putting some translucent colors into them. Now, this particular one has the carbon fusion laminate. It's got the black carbon Kevlar trim, again, super smooth. And this baby's got a lot of nice features on it. This has the adjustable carbon foot bar. It's got the universal mount package on the bow and the stern thwart, so you can put camera equipment, fishing equipment, GPS, whatever suits your fancy. This one also has the carbon detachable yoke. And let's show the folks here, Joe. Matt actually makes these seats, and he makes the seat with a forge carbon. Absolutely beautiful. So the carbon tech package, which is an option that this boat has with a carbon interior, will take a pound or two of weight out of the boat, make it very maintenance free. This one also has the multi-height pod system, which is very easy for me to change the height of the seat this quickly. It's got a great pin and magnet system. The shape of these seats is the exact same shape as the wood seat, so it has tons of comfort to them. And Joe, let's show the back of this boat also. On all the forged carbon boats, we are also doing forged carbon float tanks on them in the clear so it matches the seats. An absolutely lovely finish. So it's really cool. You can see how the forged carbon looks in the sun. And then in the shade, it, it really, it's got movement to it. It's super, super cool. So let's talk about this other beauty. We've done a few videos with this boat already, guys. This is the first epoxy carbon Kevlar trim, Kevlar fusion laminate we did. This particular baby is the one we've been striking with the mallet in all our videos. Only weighs 27 and a half pounds with all these features in it. This is the amber finish with Kevlar Fusion, which comes standard with the black internal skid plates. This baby has the black end caps, cherry interior. It's got the beautiful black and gold carbon Kevlar trim, which is super smooth and caressable. Matches the interior very nicely. 
Many folks tell us that this is one of the sharpest finishes we do. This baby also has the adjustable carbon foot bar, the detachable cherry yoke, and it's got the really cool multi-height pod seating system. So whichever way you decide to get your Prospector 14 configured, you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, folks, this is the Prospector 14. We just showed it in the only weighs 27 and a half pounds. We did a really cool product launch video that you can go back and look at where we talked about our technology. And let's show you this, folks. Kevlar Fusion Epoxy Resin. There's lots of people that take the hammer to real heavier composite laminates. This is a really lightweight laminate, so folks looking for a really durable solo boat for tripping, want it super strong, you want our epoxy resin, so check out our product launch video, and then we'll also have an upcoming technology video where we'll go over this thoroughly. This is Scott Way, who does all our social media and does a fantastic job on it. Many of you communicate with him. And this is a beautiful pairing for him, a blue forged carbon boat. Matches your outfit nicely, Scott, and you look super comfortable in this boat. What is it about the Prospector 14 that just seems to suit you? Well, aside from the fact that blue is my favorite color, uh, if I was <laughs> going to spec this one out, this would probably be at the front of my list. Uh, aside from that, in terms of functionality, size, given my size, given what I do, this is probably the perfect fit for me. Prospectors by nature are known as like a utilitarian jack of all trades type boat. As a solo Prospector 14, this is certainly that. And then again, factoring in my size and the expected weight load that I would perhaps put in this if I was going on a multi-day trip, it's got everything. So again, day paddling, multi-day paddling, fishing. I love the fact that having the thwart here, again, given the size of my torso, this thwart is actually just the right distance away. It's not so close that it would restrict my legs, which would make getting in and out uncomfortable or difficult, um, but it is far enough away that it doesn't obstruct my paddling. And again, I can reach anything that's right in front of me. And then again, with the carbon foot bar, if we were going on a long trip, if we had a lot of miles to make, if I was trying to keep up with Bill, I would want this because it's more bracing for me. So I'm more in tune with the boat. My feet are connected. My legs are connected, my hips can be connected depending on where I'm sitting, if I were, say, leaning it over a bit. So again, you're in touch with the boat, I fit the boat, and I can do just about anything with the boat. Nice. Cheers to the Prospector 14. The Prospector 14 is an ideal boat for someone like Scott. I personally love soloing the Kiwadens. They're a little bit straighter tracking. I like to really put power on the paddle when I paddle. The Kiwadens have a little bit more acceleration and glide between strokes. People that like to travel great distances are going to love the feel of these boats. So let's talk about this guy. This beautiful Kiwaden 15 is one of our demos we've had for a few years, so she's got a few marks on her. So this is the Kevlar Fusion laminate with a sapphire blue finish. It's got the two-town bottom, and Joe, let's show the folks the color skid plates, which is an option. Give you more ramming speed protection for the folks that appreciate something like that. This baby has the beautiful black and gold interior, as all Kevlar Fusion boats do. It's got the beautiful black and gold carbon Kevlar trim. This guy's got the optional carbon foot bar, which is adjustable. The cherry detachable yoke. You can get the Kiwaden 15 with the multi-height pods. I really like it with the single height pods. I, I really find this is a nice boat to paddle in the upper paddling position. If you happen to be a paddler that wants to do a lot of fishing, go find a campsite want to go out fishing for a few hours, you can lower the seat down with the multi-height pods. So Kiwaden 15, nice sleek shape, straighter keeled in the back end. And let's show the folks this boat, Joe. This boat is not in the solo canoe category, but this is the Kiwaden 16 combi 
which has the quick change seating system where the bow and stern seat are detachable. So this is set up beautiful as a solo canoe. So we always like to point this out to folks. If you're strongly considering a solo, if you're average size to bigger person and you also want to get a boat that has a lot of versatility to it, you definitely may want to consider the Kiwaden 16 Combi. It's also a boat I can take a large dog with me and take a fair amount of tripping gear. Maybe one of these Kiwadens is in the future for you. Check out these two beautiful solo canoes. These are historically significant boats, the 13-foot Flash Fire and 14-foot Wildfire, that we have recently put back into production. They were made by Bell Canoe in the mid-90s. Charlie Wilson commissioned our designer, David Yost, to design these. And they're really cool boats. They have symmetrical shapes on the bottom. The bow and the stern have the same shape from the waterline down. And they're asymmetrical on the top. The bows are deeper than the sterns. They've got that really cool looking rake forward to them. These boats have about two, two and a half inches of rocker at each end. They're really maneuverable boats. They were really designed for people that want to do some lake paddling, but also are going to spend a lot of time in creeks or rivers. The flash fire is really designed well for someone that weighs 100 to 175 pounds, maybe, day paddling, light tripping. The wildfire is designed for people that weigh maybe 175 up to, I'm 240. I've taken this on day trips and absolutely love this boat. So let's go over these two, Joe. This is an Expedition Kevlar wildfire with the black internal skid plates. It's got the beautiful basalt and negra commingle on the outside. And let's swing around, Joe. Let's show the folks in the sun. It's got that really cool translucent look to it. This is an absolutely beautiful boat on the water. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim, the beautiful commingle basalt and negra, the commingle look on the inside also. This baby comes standard with a cherry interior and a fixed seat in it. It's the wildfire and flash fire we do not do with multi-height pod seats. This is really popular with the upper seating position. Again, the seat is mounted on a rib that's wider than the seat itself. It's got a lot of structural integrity to it. Side pods really hold it in and the seat frames are very wide on the boat. And we'll just come right down this boat to the back end. Beautiful look to it, the carbon end caps, the internal basalt and negra skid plates. And Joe, let's look at this beautiful flash fire and then while you're there, Joe, let's show the folks. Look how high up the shoulder comes on these boats. Here's the wildfire with a nice tuck in so people can paddle right along the side of the boat. And then let's look at this flash fire. Look how high up the bubble comes. These boats are also used in freestyle paddling. They can be heeled way over to the sides and people can really cut them and turn them in very tight quarters. So this blast fire is a beautiful Kevlar fusion with a sapphire blue finish. It's got the internal sapphire skid plate on it. This has the nice carbon end caps, the cherry interior. The Kevlar fusion has a beautiful black and gold aramid cloth on the inside coming down the boat. Nice cherry seat. Different solo yoke options are available. These two boats, beautiful size pair together, designed in the mid 90s that are still popular today. If you're thinking about doing a little bit of creek or river paddling, you definitely want to consider these two beautiful solos. This flash fire is so light, Diane, what do you think? <laughs> Nice. It's in the low 20s. This is a Kevlar Fusion. So why don't we flip her down and let's go for a paddle. So Diane is our sales manager at our, our 
Gravenhurst store, our main most Skoka location. Many of you may have met her. And she is the one that has the lovely dog, Charlie. So these boats are set up where they're comfortable to sit or kneel in. I like paddling again, like I showed you with one leg forward, one leg back, real comfortable yeah. position. So these boats are nice and narrow. So when you're canoeing, you can paddle right along the sides. So Diane fits in this boat real nicely as well as the Prospector 13. I don't know which one you're gonna like better. She does like blue though, so. The wildfire I've taken on several day trips in Algonquin on routes that involved windy, twisty rivers and lake paddling. I'm really comfortable in this boat sitting in it. And Carmen, who runs our Algonquin Test Paddling Center, says that this boat is extremely stable and she can get beginners in this and get them pretty comfortable right away, as well as the Prospector 14. So if you're looking for a new solo, and a new dog, perhaps a flash fire or a wildfire may be the right boat for you. Cheers. How about this beautiful finish? This is the orange metal flake. We have some customers in Wisconsin that have a couple of these now and they've named this color Campfire Ember. And this particular boat, the Dragonfly, is an icon in the industry. David Yost designed this in conjunction with Harold Deal for Curtis Canoe in the early 80s. And at the time, it was a really big statement. This boat was designed for the combination class of downriver whitewater racing combined with running slalom gates. So it's a beautiful shape. It's extremely maneuverable. It's very fast. It's extremely rounded on the bottom. The shoulder was carried way up the side on it, if you see, so it really deflected water off to the side and away from the boat. We've reconditioned the mold on this boat. We're going to build 15 of them. We've got six slots left right now. This particular boat is a replica of the one that Joe Geronimo ordered last year. This is the Expedition Kevlar Laminate with a beautiful Basalta Negra commingle cloth on the inside. It's got the black and gold carbon Kevlar trim on it. Check out the size of the end caps on here with how much flair this boat has, guys. We our Matt custom made some end caps for this particular model. It's a really deep solo canoe for running whitewater. This particular one has the detachable cherry yoke on it. For this particular model, we're hanging the seats with these cherry spacer blocks. And the reason is people want all kinds of different heights with this boat so we can custom make it for the particular height you want. So the Dragonfly, formerly a boat that Dave Curtis made for Curtis Canoe, now a Swift model. This is a dream boat for a highly skilled paddler looking for a very fast river running boat. Cheers. A special note, folks. The Kiwaden 14 is not in our solo canoe price list anymore. The mold is in fantastic shape. If you do want one, like this customer from Rutabaga did, we'll still make one for you. And this particular one, Joe, let's just show the folks real quick. This has the beautiful purple metal flake finish. Absolutely gorgeous. We'll show it further down in the sun. A beautiful, beautiful finish. This particular customer ordered it with a black carbon Kevlar trim with the sassafras interior, the sassafras yoke, the adjustable carbon foot bar, the multi-height pod seat, and again, we do it with the cherry seat when it's the sassafras interior. This is a little bit skinnier than the Kiwaden 15. Very well suited to average size and smaller paddlers that have a lot of skill, that don't mind a boat that's a little bit nimble, that really want to cover some ground. This is a beautiful traveling boat. Kiwaden 14, purple metal flake, this baby is gorgeous. Okay, hopefully folks that this video will help you choose the ideal dog. 
And how about Solo Canoe? We also have some other really cool videos on the, a bunch of our solo boats that Scott is going to put in the header of the description of the video. And take a look at this, guys. This is a cross-section shape of our carbon Kevlar trim with the foam core inside. It shows you with a hull limit on the inside is pulled right up along with the gunnels. When we pull our solo canoes out of the mold, the carbon Kevlar trim and the hull of the boat come out as one structural part. We've got a really cool video coming out that's going to really show our different laminates. You may also want to watch our product launch video where we go over all our technology. In the laminate videos, we're going to talk about all the different finishes that are available in Kevlar Fusion, Expedition Kevlar, Carbon Fusion, Expedition Carbon, our different text stream spread toe finishes. And we're going to talk about something that's really cool for us right now. These forged carbon boats with the blue, the purple, the red tint to them, or the clear finish, that when you get these boats out in the sun, they've got some movement to them. Whichever solo canoe is going to be ideal for you, we're going to build an absolutely gorgeous boat for you. Cheers to solo canoes.